All right. So we'll get started in child's pose. Shins to the mat, big toes touch, knees nice and wide. Crawl your fingertips forward, and for this child's pose, we'll practice with palms face up. Forehead rests down onto your mat. And make your movements, release your twitches, find something close to stillness as you invite gentle breath in and out through your nose. Find a sense of groundedness. Mindfulness as you pause right here with your body, with your breath. You're welcome to stay with the natural rhythm of your breath. Or you can begin to invite in Ujjayi Pranayama, your heating breath. To find this breath, continue breathing through your nose. And gently constrict the muscles at the back of your throat. Feel some texture. Listen to yourself breathe between your ears. You're welcome to keep your ujjayi breath alive throughout class or to release heat. You're welcome to find an open mouth exhale at any point. Palms begin to face down onto your mat, then bend into your elbows as your palms come together to touch. Thumbs meet at the base of your skull. And gently take your palms back down onto the earth. Take six more rounds of breath here, whether it's natural breath or your ujjayi breath. Then on your next inhale, press firmly into your palms, feel your elbows lift, shift your shoulders forward and up, rearrange to meet in a tabletop position, all four shoulders over your wrists, hips over your knees, toes stay untucked for now. Start to just make some rolls with your body. So you're rolling around here called dancing lion, warming up through your wrists, moving in a big circle. And switch the direction of your circle. Hips, upper body roaming around, tracing 360. And then pause and center. Turn your right fingertips in to face your body. Press the base of your palm down into your mat. Get a stretch for your forearm. If you'd like to invite those circles in again, you can. Warming up the wrist in a different direction. And then gently find center, release your fingertips back to the top of your mat. Left fingertips turn to face your body. 
stay right here as you press all five fingers down, base of your palm into your mat, or find those circles once again. Find center, fingertips face forward. Curl your toes under, press all 10 toes into your mat. Then take a big inhale, let your belly lower, heart shines forward, shoulder blades slide onto your back body. Exhale, round and curl, chin to chest, press the mat away from you with your fingers, with your toes. Inhale, heart rises, tail follows. Exhale, round and curl. Inhale, find your cow. Exhale. Find your cat. Move here with your breath at your pace, whether you want to take it fast or slow, it's completely up to you. You're welcome to invite in anything that feels organic. You can sway your hips side to side, take some circles, maybe return back to dancing lion, whatever your body needs this evening. You're taking three more generous breaths here. And then slowly start to make your way into downward facing dog. You might need to walk the hands forward a little bit or the feet back towards the back of your mat to give yourself some space, but make your way into an inverted V pose. Knees can stay nice and bent as you lift your hips to the sky, heels grow heavy towards the earth. Find stability here as you press entirely through your palms. Strengthen your arms. Then when you're ready, bend generously into your right knee, extend your left heel towards the earth and slowly switch. Continue with this motion as your bicycle, your heels up and off the ground, invite some length in the backs of your legs. Then gently find stillness, let your heels grow nice and heavy. Notice if you can find a little bit more length in your legs or if the bend is still present. Notice that having your knees bent is perfectly acceptable, it's fine. You'll find stability in your body, your way. Then bring your gaze to the top of your mat. Walk your feet towards your hands, take your time getting there, find a forward fold. Have your feet a little bit wider than your hips. When you get there, take an inhale, halfway rise. Strength at your center, shoulders on your back body. Exhale, fold. Space in your pelvis as your head pulls your upper body a little bit heavier towards your mat. Arms can be in any variation, any pose that you find comfortable, whether that's a box, whether that's wrapped around your calves, or just dangling towards your mat. Pull your chin in closer towards your chest. Notice breath. Wherever your arms are, let them hang heavy towards your mat. Big inhale, roll on up through your spine, stack your vertebral columns. Nice, generous in-breath as you shove your shoulders up by your ears. And then exhale, roll your shoulder blades down your back body. Inhale, reach your arms up high to the sky. As you exhale, palms face out, just press away from you and get your fingertips to almost tap behind you. Tap if you can. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, push and try to tap behind you. Beautiful. Inhale, reach. Exhale, sweep and tap. Three more, inhale. Exhale. Last two, inhale. Exhale. Last full round, inhale, reach up. Exhale, push behind you. And as you inhale, arms will reach all the way up high to the sky, palms will touch. Exhale, thumbs meet at your heart space. We'll move into a breathing exercise. You're welcome to keep your eyes open or you can gently close your eyes. Feel yourself rooted down into your mat with the soles of your feet. Your tail lengthening towards the earth, your core nice 
and strong. Heart reaches up, shoulders relax down, crown lengthens you taller. Slowly begin to inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Hold at the top for three, two, one. Open mouth, exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Slow inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Hold at the top, three, two, one. Open mouth, exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Hold for three, two, one, exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Hold for three, two, one. Out for five, four, three, two, one. Find natural inhale, natural exhale. Your kumbhaka breath complete. Aware of the expansiveness at your lungs. The space you have created within yourself. If you decided to close your eyes, flutter them open. Inhale, send your palms up high to the sky. Exhale, open your arms as you dive forward with your chest to find a forward fold. Inhale, halfway rise, long through your back body, shoulder blades back. Exhale, palms meet on your mat and walk yourself out into a high plank. You have the option to lower your knees for a low plank if that's what your body needs today. Hold here in your high plank, find the strength right at your center. Lengthen your tail towards your heels, your crown out and away from you. Cultivate the heat, the energy in your body. Take another big inhale here. On your exhale, elbows hug in as you lower yourself all the way down to your mat. Uncurl your toes, root your big toes down, a gentle press of your pelvis into the earth. Inhale, lift your nose, lift your chest, find low cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale, float your nose, float your chest, low cobra. You have the option to press into your palms a little bit more, lift higher for a high cobra. Exhale, lower. Last round, inhale, your choice. Find low cobra, high cobra, or come into upward facing dog. I'll be demonstrating low cobra for class today. Holding here, find gentle breath, maybe reach a little taller. On your next exhale, move into downward facing dog, however you would like to get there at your pace. From downward dog, inhale, reach your right leg up tall to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, gently take your foot in between your hands on your mat. Lower your left knee down to the ground. Find a little lunge. Press into your fingertips as you let your hips sink a little bit further down. Lift your chest forward, knee gaze up to the sky. And then shift your hips back towards your left heel. Send your right toes up to the sky for half flip. Inhale, find a little bit more length. And on your exhale, if depth is there, find the depth. If there's a bend in your right knee, good job. That's perfectly fine. I have a bend in my right knee myself. If the leg is long, then that's where you are today. That's how your body is responding. Let's invite a breath to movement sequence. Inhale, shift forward, find that low lunge, look up to the sky. Exhale, shift back, lift your right toes off the mat for your half foot pose. Inhale, move it forward, chest open, gaze up to the sky. Exhale, find your half split. Continue to move here at your pace with your breath. It does not have to be with my cadence, it can be with your own. Choose if you would like shorter breaths or if you want to take your time here, really marinate in each pose. Long inhales, long exhales.
Find six more rounds wherever you are. And once you find your sixth round of breath, pause in your half splits pose. Again, hips towards the back of your mat, right toes face up to the sky. You have the option to hold right here just like before, or you can scoot your left fingertips very close to your right foot, and then nice and slow, peel your right arm open to the sky, chest follows to twist. This is quite a balanced challenge. Engage your lower body, your legs and then use the strength at your core to pull yourself into this twist a little bit deeper if that's where you choose to go. Next up, transition into low lunge with our twist. You'll lift your left arm up as you slide your legs forwards into a low lunge. Your arms are already in your twist. Fingertips reach away from each other. If your back toes aren't, are, are not already curled under, go ahead and curl them under. Find a lot of strength in your right leg, push down into your right heel, and then float off of your left knee. You're now in your high lunge with a twist. If you need to rearrange your feet at all, find that rearrangement. Do what supports your body best. You're here for a generous inhale. As you exhale, spin into warrior two, left heel lowers down to the earth. Right foot stays forward. Beautiful transition, nice work. Arms nice and long on the horizon. Yogi's choice if you want your palms to face down, face up, or face the side. You get to decide. Push down firmly into both your feet as if you wanted to push your heels together underneath you. Feel your inner legs light on fire. From here, we'll invite in that traditional vinyasa movement. Take an inhale, reverse your warrior. Right arm reaches up and back. Keep a generous bend in your right leg. As you exhale, right forearm taps your right leg as your left arm reaches up overhead. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, lateral angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, lateral angle. Challenge yourself to go a little slower here. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, lateral angle. Three more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Lift up into warrior two. Lengthen your front leg. Turn your left toes in just a little bit. Big inhale. Reach up through your chest. As you exhale, move your arms to six and 12 for triangle pose. If you need some support, bring a gentle bend into your right knee and then gently rest your right hand on your right thigh or your right shin. Eve is welcome to look down at the floor, on the side, or up to the sky. Pause or open your chest further as you wrap your left arm behind your lower back and reach for the inner right thigh. Stay or adding on for strength. Lift your right arm on the horizon off of your right leg. Holding for three, two, one. Unravel, unwind both palms down to the mat, freeing your right foot. Step back for your high or your half plank and move through a chaturanga on your exhale. Inhale, find your cobra or up dog. And exhale, move into downward facing dog. Generous breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last one, breath in. Breath out. You're welcome to keep that breath by natural breath or refine your ujjayi pranayama. 
Inhale, left leg reaches up high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step or walk your foot in between your hands on your mat. Lower your right knee down, fingertips stay in contact with the floor as you inhale, chest reaches forward. Gaze up to the sky, pause here. Notice already the differences between the right and the left, the heat you've created, the space that you found. Shift your hips back, left toes reach to the sky as you find your half foot. Inhale for a little bit more length here, reach through your crown. And on your exhale, depth, if that is where your body's going today. From here, familiar place will flow with breath, generous inhale as you slide forward into your lunge, gaze up. Slow exhale as you move it back into your half foot. Continue at your pace, your time, whether you choose slow or fast, to hold maybe in one pose or another, or to breathe right on by. Here for six more breaths. And when you're ready on that last round, pause in your half foot. You're more than welcome to stay right here. Feel this pose, deepen into it, or slide your right fingertips nice and close to your left foot. Find some support, some strength in your legs or your core as you peel open with your left hand, reach it to the sky, chest will follow. Revolve in your half foot. Moving into our transition, get light on your right fingertips, shift forward into lunge as you lift your right hand up, hold in your low lunge with your twist. Fingertips reach away from each other. Every exhale, strength at your core to help pull you a little bit deeper. That is where your twist comes from. Back toes curl under, press a lot through your left foot and then lengthen, lift through your back leg. You're here in your high lunge. Arms are still reaching away from each other in your twist. Stay inhale. On your exhale, big open into warrior two. Back heel spins down. Rearrange your legs as much as you would like. Get some support here in your body, on your mat, within your four corners. Press a lot through your feet. Then as if you wanted to drag your heels together, feel your inner legs light up. Arms nice and long, shoulders relax on your back body. Nothing forced here. Begin to invite in our breath to movement. Inhale, reach your left arm up and back to reverse your warrior. Generous bend stays in your left leg. And on your exhale, lateral angle, left forearm taps, left thigh, right arm overhead. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, lateral angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, lateral angle. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, lateral angle. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We'll take three more together. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, beautiful. Next, inhale, find your warrior two. Lengthen through your front leg. Turn your right toes in just a little bit. Big inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, move forward with your upper body as your palms reach six and 12. Nice long wingspan. Find your support with your right arm as you please. While you hold in triangle pose, you want to get long through both your side bodies. Not just your top one, but your bottom one as well. Find engagement at the core and you'll feel your shoulders lift just a little bit. There's your length right there. You have the option to stay or wrap your right arm behind you, reach for your inner left leg to find a half bind. Stay or last little bit, add on a strength. Lift your left arm on the horizon, holding for three, two, one. Unwind your palms down to the earth. Frame your left foot, step back higher, half plank. Your plank, your pace moves through your chaturanga vinyasa sequence. Finding your back bend and then moving into your downward facing dog when you're ready. Find a generous inhale here. Open mouth. One more inhale, fill. Exhale, release. Inhale, reach your right leg up high to the sky. Exhale, step or walk through where you're here in your lunge. From your lunge, root down a lot into your right foot. And then start to lift and stand up into one-legged Tadasana, one-legged mountain pose. Left leg reaches forward in line with your left hip. Beautiful. If you need some support, you're welcome to place your left toe on the ground. Work on core strength, work on balancing from there. Pause, stay, or reach your right hand to the outside of your left leg as you let your left arm heel you towards the back of your mat to find your twist right here. It's very tempting to use the right hand on your leg to push into the twist. Resist that and use a strong core just like we did in the lunge to find your twist and your arm is just there to look pretty. You're welcome to stay, or you can pull your knee more in towards your chest as your palm slides to the outer edge of your left foot and then lengthen your left leg forward. This is your class. These are your poses in your body, so you decide where you want to go. Everything I present is just an option, just another choice. Stay balancing on your right leg as you slowly release, return back to one-legged mountain pose. Palms stay at your heart space. Shift forward with your upper body as you kick your left leg behind you for warrior three. Move slow. For support, you can also tap your left toes down behind you, kind of like you're in a lunge, but all of the weight is in your right leg. Notice if your breath is paused. Reignite it, flowing in and out the vital life force that it is. All right, friends, we're not done. Lift back up into one-legged mountain pose. You got this, beautiful. Open into your tree pose. Let your left foot land somewhere on your right leg, wherever you would like. Arms are welcome to stay. I'll present a few other options. You can reach your arms up to the sky, maybe gaze up as well, balance challenge, or for a different kind of balance challenge, let your left arm come to your left leg as you reach your right arm up overhead for a side body stretch on the right side. Slowly return to center. Find that one like a mountain pose. Oh my goodness, you got this. Step back into your high lunge. Beautiful, some release for the right foot. Inhale, sweep your arms up high to the sky. Gaze up as well. And as you exhale, palms plant down on your mat. Step back higher, half plank, move through your vinyasa sequence. Finding your plank, your back bend, and then finally, your downward facing dog. Take your dog for a little walk here. Bicycle the feet and up and off the ground. 
maybe really stretch into the sole of your right foot, it might need it. And then pause. Inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step or walk through, let your left foot land. Strong on your left foot. When you're ready, lift up into one-legged Tadasana, one-legged mountain pose. Take your time, there's no rush, no right or wrong how you get there. If the left side is feeling very different from the right, you have that option for the big toe on the right side to come down and support you on the floor. Feel free to stay or whether your foot is lifted or touching down, extend your left hand to the outside of your right knee and then let your right arm lead you to twist. Choose to stay or extend your left foot down to the sole of your right foot as you extend your right leg forward. If there's a bend in your knee or if you choose not to come into this pose, that's okay. That doesn't make you a lesser or a more yogi. It just makes you a yogi, just like the rest of us. With compassion for yourself, begin to unwind back to center, one-legged Tadasana, and then TikTok into your warrior three, upper body move forwards, right leg presses back. Big toe of your right side can come down to support you in that lunge, but all of your weight is in the left foot for some support. Hold here. Retune into breath wherever you are. Gently move back into your one-legged Tadasana. Beautiful. Open into your tree post. Right foot lands on the left leg. Find your version, find your expression. Arms can be out, arms can be lifted. Eyes can even be closed for a super balanced challenge. You can find your side body stretch. Whatever kind of tree you wanna be right now. Gently make your way back, one-legged Tadasana, last little bit. Push it back, find your high lunge, big inhale, sweep your arms up and over, gaze up, exhale, palm circle down to your mat, step back, higher half plank, your choice, your pace as you move through your vinyasa sequence. And downward facing dog, find that little pedal, maybe press extra into the left foot, stretch the sole. Pause and down dog and bring your gaze to your thumbs. And then you'll take your right knee towards your right wrist for pigeon pose. Outer calf lowers down, legs are in a number seven. Uncurl your back toes, nice. Inhale, find some length as you lift your chest. And exhale, you're welcome to fold over your front leg or you can stay more upright. If you have a blanket or blocks today or a towel or a pillow and you wanna use it underneath your right hip to give yourself some more room, you can always find that, just brings them out a little bit closer so you can decide what works best for your body today. Once you settle into your pigeon pose, you're welcome to invite a close of your eyes or to keep them just gentle and soft towards the earth. Notice your inhales and exhales. Where the energy, the prana, flows within yourself. Notice how your front body expands towards or even onto 
your right leg. And then how everything falls back in the center. How your back body expands as well with every in breath. And maybe even a light contraction as everything comes back to center. From your pigeon pose, if you decided to forward fold, press onto your palms as you lift your chest, but roll onto your right hip, your left toes face up to the sky. So we meet in one of our straddle positions with the right leg folded in, right heel and towards your groin. Nice work. Take an inhale, reach your arms up. As you exhale, left palm falls to the inside of your left leg, right arm reaches up overhead. So even here, you find that length, reach through your crown, reach through your side bodies. And then once there's no more length, then you find your depth and let yourself fold over. Notice if your shoulder is closing down in front of you, bring your gaze up to the sky, open through your chest, open through your shoulder. You might have to lift out a little bit to achieve this, and that's perfectly okay. Start to lift your arms up and then let your right hand fall behind you on your mat. Use your left arm to help sweep you up. Press into your right shin, your left heel as your hips lift. Maybe even find a little bit of a back bend here as you let your left arm really lead you towards the back wall. Then slowly release back down. Make your way through pigeon and all the way back to downward facing dog. So take your time, there's no rush. However, you'd like to get back to down dog, get there. Settle in. Maybe find a little bit of movement. And then when you're ready, gaze to your thumbs, pull your left knee forward, the outer calf lands down in a, a number seven to find pigeon pose. Uncurl your back toes. You can stay right here as you inhale, find some length in your upper body. Or on your exhale, you can lower down, fold over your front leg. This is your pigeon. This is your 50 minutes of yoga. These are the choices you make for yourself. Choose what feels good. Choose what intuitively your body wants to go to versus how you think something should look. Take a slow inhale in, slow exhale. Slow inhale, slow exhale. Time here, permission that you give to yourself to just be and to just breathe. And start to press into your palms as you lift your chest up. Roll on to your left hip as you turn your right toes up to the sky, left heel in towards your inner body. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, right palm lands on the inside of your right foot as your left arm reaches up overhead. Find your length and then melt into your depth. 
chest stays open to encourage that openness, gaze can come up to the sky. Slowly start to come out of this. Left palm lands behind you. Right arm sweeps you up. Hips will lift as you press into your right heel, your left shin. Maybe let your right arm reach all the way behind you as you come into a back bend. And then slowly return to your seat. This time stay in your seat. Sweep your leg down in front of you towards the front of your mat. And begin to lie down. Take your time getting there. Make the adjustments that you need. Just lie down on the floor. Take both knees into your chest, palms face down next to your hips, and give yourself a little rock side to side here. And gently pause. Keep your knees in towards your chest. And then let your head gently rock from side to side. Find center, right palm rests gently on your right knee, right shin, and extend your left leg out away from you. Guide your right knee towards your right inner arm. And slowly release your leg as you let your right leg fall over to the left. Hips move slightly right. Make some room in your body. Palms can be open in a T or a cactus next to you if you really want to take up some space. Otherwise, your palms can stay where they are or rest somewhere on your body. Gentle here in your supine twist. Gently begin to unwind through center, hips move to the middle of your mat if you decided to move them. Both knees come in towards your chest. Give yourself that little rock right here without your palms side to side. Small reset. And find stillness, left palm rests on your left leg. Extend your right arm, your right leg rather, away from you. You guide your left knee in towards your left inner arm. And then slowly as you release the leg, begin to find your twist. The left leg comes over to the right. Hips will shimmy slightly left to give yourself some space, some room. Arms wherever you would like them to be. Breath gentle. Breath truly yours. Slowly unravel, unwind back to center. Legs extend long. Palms can be face up. 
just like in the beginning of class in a receiving position, or you can be face down, gently resting on your body. Before we fully come into Shavasana, we'll practice our Kumbhaka breath again, the retention breath that we practice standing. We'll start with the 535 and then progress to 757. And from there, we'll move into Shavasana. If this breath becomes overwhelming, feel free to just breathe to your natural rhythm. So inhale for one, two, three, four, five. Hold at the top, three, two, one, release for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Hold, three, two, one. Open mouth, exhale for four, three, two, one, through your nose, two, three, four, five, hold for three, two, one, out, five, four, three, two, one, in, one, two, three, four, five, hold, three, two, one, out, five, Four, three, two, one. In one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold five, four, three, two, one. Out seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold five, four, three, two, one. Out seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In one, two, three, four, five. Seven, hold five, four, three, two, one, out seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, find natural breath. Let yourself be heavy, be slow. I will call you back when it is time. to retune into breath as you make every inhale, every exhale lightly longer than the left, just slightly. Begin to find movement in your fingers and toes. Start to roll into your ankles and your wrists. You feel your legs and your arms begin to wake up, perhaps find movement in your limbs, the entire appendage as well. And then let your body fall back into relaxation as you gently rock your head from side to side.
find center. And take your time as you make your way into your seat, whether you want to roll onto one side and use your helpful hands to press up or lift up right away, it's up to you. Whatever comfortable seat means to you. Find your palms at your heart space, your chin in towards your chest and a gesture of gratitude. Gratitude for choosing to show up tonight physically and mentally for your practice and taking the time out of your day to do something for you. The light and the teacher in me will always walk with and will always learn from the light and the teacher in you. Namaste. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Let me get the music off and the mics on. There we go. Ah, oh, hey, Kalila. <laughs> Hi, Alexa. How are you? Good, how are you? Oh, really good. Just I'm watching you on Instagram, doing all the life stuff. <laughs> I've been watching you on Instagram. Congrats on getting married. <laughs> Thanks, and congrats on you. You're an attorney now, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's such a big deal. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, so my dad is also in this class. Yeah, I was talking to him earlier. <laughs> so fun. Yeah, this is fun. I don't know what took me so long to join the This is a really nice platform. Yeah, it's the music. I really like the music part. I think that's really cool. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool feature. Well, I'm so glad you both could make it. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. You are welcome. It was nice to meet you. <laughs> All right. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thanks, Bye. Alexa. Bye. You are welcome.